Today we discuss about polycarbonate crumbs. So, it has been alarming that the restoration of class 2 and class 3 type of cavities have been found to be unsuccessful by many restorative techniques. So, the researchers developed semi-permanent restorations. Now, what are these semi-permanent restorations? They comprise of either the stainless steel crown, the polycarbonate crown, strip crowns, art glass crowns, etc. So, these semi-permanent restoration serve as an interim restoration for the tool for the purpose of stability and strengthen its presence in the arch. So, these semi-permanent restorations are basically used in anterior teeth to hide the unsightly appearance or the ugly appearance of the anterior teeth when they are affected by rampant caries or nursing bottle caries. The treatment of such type of teeth depend upon the age of the patient and the state up to which the decay has taken place. For example, if the decay is extending up to the pulp, the tooth will first undergo pulpectomy and then we'll put a polycarbonate crown or adapter polycarbonate crown to the tooth itself. It also depends on the cooperative level of the patient. But in such cases, a comprehensive oral treatment should be followed. For example, topical fluoride application, then pit and fissure sealant application, then we can go for restoration of the small cavities, then restoration of the large cavities, and finally we can either go for stainless steel crowns after pulpectomy or polycarbonate crowns. We can also use orthodontic brands and open faced stainless steel crowns which are more aesthetic in appearance. So what are basically these polycarbonate crowns? Polycarbonate crowns are nothing but these are linear polyesters of carbonic acid. They are highly stable and they are less resistant to abrasion. They can, they can undergo hair and tear due to heat and they are also thermoplastic, thermolabite and they also respond to any external pressure by the pliers. That is, they are easily pliable or movable. So, the main advantages of these polycarbonate crowns underlie that they are dimensionally stable. They are not easily affected by the occlusal forces. For example, if the occlusal forces are high in the case of posterior teeth, they we cannot use, but in anterior teeth, the polycarbonate crowns can be used. Then, they are also unaffected by any acids or any dyes in the mouth. So, they are not easily stained. They can be easily matched to the form and the shape and even the shade of the tooth. The major disadvantages of the polycarbonate crowns are that they are easily wear and tear and they can be easily abraded due to the occlusal forces. Sometimes the cutting of the tooth is required for the purpose of adapting polycarbonate crowns to the mouth. They are so irritant to the pulp. So the pulp can undergo irritation because of the poly acid which are leased through the polycarbonate crowns and due to the wear and tear of the teeth, the pulp can be affected. The polycarbonate crowns are basically used in carious teeth which are rampant caries or in the case of nursing bottle caries in, with, in the teeth where full coverage restoration is required in the case of maxillary anteriors or mandibular anteriors. It is also used in the cases of early childhood caries. Any deformities of the teeth due to dentinogenesis imperfecta or amylogenesis imperfecta. The polycarbonate crowns can also be used in the cases of fluorosis where the teeth are badly affected or badly stained, that is discolored teeth. But these uh, crowns, since they are highly abrasive, they cannot be used in the cases where there is a high occlusal force or in the cases of bruxism, in the cases of deep bite where the bite or the occlusal forces are not directed in a proper axial direction or if they are directed in a tangential direction for example in the cases of deep bite 
in improper occlusion, we cannot use a polycarbonate crown. And in the cases where the functionality of the teeth and the mouth is high. Now the basic composition of the polycarbonate crown comprises of the powder and the liquid which contains polymethyl methacrylate, benzoyl peroxide and the color pigments. The liquid in the polycarbonate crowns contains methyl methacrylate which is a polymer and a monomer, the ethyl the dimethyl ethacrylate and hydroquinone. These are the monomer and the polymer in the polycarbonate crown which are polyesters of carbonic acid. Now let us come how the polycarbonate crown is adapted to the tooth structure. Whenever we require to restore a badly carious teeth, for example in the cases of nursing bottle caries or rampant caries, so we will first reduce the incisal aspect up to 0.5 mm or the tooth is disoccluded from the occlusion and then if required the proximal surfaces are reduced but they are reduced minimally. So how do we select the crown which is required for a particular teeth? We generally measure the mesiodistal distance from the contact area or we can also measure the mesodistal diameter of the contralateral tooth which is required for the dimensions of the crown which needs to be selected. So first we will measure the dimensions of the mesodistal region of the tooth then by the means of warrior calipers we will compare it to the mesodistal dimensions of the crown. Now the cervico incisal length is also measured then the excess length of the crown is measured or it is cut by the means of a crown or scissors and is disced and smoothened and polished. Then the crown is trialed in the tooth which is prepared. Generally, it was stated by Mears that we do not need a finished line for proper adaptation of the crown to the tooth. But Stewart told that a chamfer finished line is required for the proper adaptation of the crown to the tooth structure. So the labial lingual reduction first of the crown is done it is to 2.5 mm and the incisal reduction of 1 to 2 mm is done. The crown is selected and the selected crown is adapted by the means of selective grinding by the means of disc or tapered fissure diamond burr and the gingival portion is integrated to the margin. Before trying the crown in the mouth, we need to first apply acrylic, a monomer and polymer in a mixed state to the inner surface of the crown. Then in the stage of Dow state, we adapt or put the crown inside the prepared tooth when the monomer and the polymer are going to stay. That means they are in the dow stage. Then re repeatedly it is trying in and out of the mouth till the substance is set. This is in order to avoid any undercuts in the tooth. Instead of this monomer and polymer, we can also apply composite on the inner surface of the polycarbonate crown for avoiding any undercuts in the tooth. After the material has set, we Take off the crown from the tooth which is prepared and final grinding and final finishing and polishing of the crown is done. Then the crown is again trial fit, occlusion is checked and finally the crown is cemented by the means of zinc polycarboxylate or any luting cement like GIC luting etc. The excess cement is always removed by the means of a sharp explorer or a sharp probe and finally the crown is seated. The patient is asked to bite on a gauze piece when it is kept between the maxilla and mandible. Finally this is how the crown is adapted to the tooth structure. But recently due to certain disadvantages of these conventional polycarbonate crowns the recent materials have come into being like modified polycarbonate crowns. Now 
these comprise nothing but they are 3m esp polycarbonate crown which also comprise of a resin and very fine micro grass particles they help in matching the shade of the tooth to the crown structure and also permit easy adaptation of the crown to the tooth by the means of pliers or disking the crown or selective grinding or cutting of the crown they have a high durability and good strength good impact resistance and good abrasion resistance too so in any way the 3m esp polycarbonate crowns are more advanced than the conventional polycarbonate crowns they help in excellent shape matching because of the glass fiber particles which are incorporated in the crown now there are various sizes according to which the polycarbonate crowns are selected adapted on the teeth the these crowns are easily time saver because they can be easily adapted to the tooth structure without any much of the adjustment because they are easy to trim by the means of a burr easy to apply by the means of pliers and the composition permits very fine crown margins to adapt to the tooth structure they have a smooth finish this helps in less accumulation of plaque and calculus around the tooth structure and also aids in patient comfort and prevents from the calculus accumulation and maintaining of proper oral hygiene is possible by the use of such advanced crown they also help in giving a good aesthetic form shape and functionality to the crown the 3m esp crowns are available in various sizes which i have already told uh, which are represented in the table so these crowns are basically used in the anterior teeth which are of unsightly appearance in the case of nursing bottle caries and they are equivalent to a semi permanent restoration and can be used as an interim restoration until the teeth exfoliates from the mouth thank you